Well, here we are at Menin's Sheds on a dank November day, though yesterday was really freezing here. And the reason that we're talking now is that yesterday the uh, Southways, who are our landlords at the Menin's Sheds, um, had a, a, a do across the road at the Baltimore Commu Community Association um, about keeping warm in the winter for all the people. So, and it was really good, I thought it was, it was really interesting what they were talking about. So, what they were, give, what they were uh, thinking of assembling to give out to people were these packs, um, which contained uh, sort of goodies for older people, as ways of encouraging them to keep warm for the, um, for the winter. So, Terry, could, you haven't seen one of these before, have you? No, not at all, no. Do you want to just open it up uh, in front of you so I can see what you're doing? And just take, take out... Excuse me. Uh, fortunately, there are no breakables in it. You want me to set something out? So, yes, it's winter warm for Bent, it was yesterday, and that was on um, November the 25th. 27th, November the 27th. Yeah, take one thing out at a time. Yes. Oh, so you've taken one thing here. Can you show it in front of the camera? Yes. Put, put the other down. So what's this that uh, we've got? This is a stainless steel vacuum flask. Can you put it up a bit higher so I can see it? Yep. And turn it around so you can see the photo of it. Yep. Do you want to take it out and have a look at it? I won't take it out with the plastic. No, okay. Oh, there you go. Let's have a look at that. Right, that's good. So would you, I mean, just asking you, would you find one of these useful, do you think? Uh, yes, I think so, yes. Because um, the thing is, as well, sometimes if you're going out or going out for a walk or even if you're in the house, yes. it's nice just to have a vacuum flask with a hot drink in it rather, than, right, yes, rather yes. than making a new one every time. It's also cheaper, yes. isn't it? Rather yes. than having boiling a kettle time and yes. time again and then... You can also um, use them for soup as well, can't you? You use them for soup, that's a very good idea, yes. Yeah. Okay, so that's, that's one of the items. Do you want to put it back in? You put it over to the side and we'll pack it up later. Yeah. See what else is in the, uh, the bag. Uh, fleece blanket. Yeah, fleece blanket. Okay, that's nice. Um, what do you think? Why do you think they've got that in? What, what are you supposed well, to do? Well, it's, it's very. Uh, I should imagine it's very handy to put over your shoulders. Yeah. You know, while you sat on the chair or something, yeah. and you're not being active. The thing is that w when you're in the house, you can try and keep it as warm as you can, but sometimes it's never as warm as you want it. Oh and, yes, um, that's right. Yeah. So you've got to kind of think of keeping yourself warm rather than the house, haven't you? Yes. So something right. like that, I think, is really good. So, yeah. and and any additional s sort of small blankets like that that especially. Insulated, I think yes, uh, be, it'd be really useful, don't you think? Right? Yes. Okay, that's the, the fleece. Yeah. Let's see what else is in the bag. Ah, what is that one? It's they basically they shrink wrapped a pair of woolly gloves, um, an insulated woolly hat, and um, uh, an, an insulated pair of socks. Ooh, so they yeah. managed to squeeze it all in there by putting it in one of those bags, you know, where you take all the air out. Yes, well, they're uh, very handy. Though, that, that's they? really good, isn't it? Yes. In fact, I'll, I got one the other day. Do you want to try that on, see what it's like? Yeah. That's one of the hats that are in there. It's a good hat, it's a thermosite. Yeah, it's an insulator one. Finsulator, I think they call them, don't yeah, they? That's right. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's very good. And, that, and now you're boiling hot. Well, not yeah. quite, but it. Well, it's around the house. Yeah, yeah. Like and that, it's so surprising it? how quickly you warm up when you've got a yeah. hat on. I, 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 was, right, yeah. I was wearing it in the house the other day, and um, after about ten minutes, I thought, "God, my, my my head's a bit hot," so I took it off. Okay, so should we go on to the next uh, item, yes. please? Okay. Um, a can of soup, chicken noodle. Oh, can you can you put it in front of the thing? right up so I can see things? It's an Asda chicken noodle soup. What do you think of that? Well, I think that's very nice. I think it should taste very nice. And it should warm you up on a cold day. Yeah, yeah. The, um, and the, the, um, one of the things I noticed, if you, can you just show the, the, tie, the ring pull on it? That there. I've always found them really difficult to open, those. I know it's better than having a can open, I agree. Yes, yes. But yes. it's still quite hard to pull off. 
What so, you have to do is you have to put something underneath them, like it's to, uh, uh, or a knife or something. Yeah, yes, not brilliant though, is it? Having to no, do that. No. And then, and then when you pull, you can. If you, you've got to have quite a lot of strength to pull it off, and oh, then yeah, when you yeah. pull it off, if you're not really stable with it, it can splash all over the place. Oh as well. yes, dead right. So it's not perfect. Yeah. The only thing, other comments I'd make is that what's that one? Chicken noodle. Yes. The the one that I saw yesterday was ox ox tail, so they obviously vary it a bit. Yeah. But the um, I was just wondering, would it be better to have vegetarian soups because there might be some people who get this who are vegetarians. Oh yeah, that's yeah. a good idea. Yeah. 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 But just a thought for the. Um, uh, you get them in different flavours. How I do. You get Are they all right? Yes, uh-huh. they're very nice. Okay, yeah. right, put that yeah. one to one side. On to the next item, please. Tea bags. Tea bags. Tea bags. Uh, they look like they're, they're on... They haven't got a, a name on them. Was it yeah. anything on them? It says red something, wasn't it? Red, that's all it says. Red. Maybe okay. it's... Red label or something like that. Yeah, anyway, tea bags never come amiss, do they? No, no, they're very warming. Yes, having a yeah. cup of tea and soothing. Oh, yeah. This bit I like, you've got the next bit. You want to show that? Get really close up with it. Got yeah, yeah, yeah. Basically, that, what, what temperature is it highlighted at the moment on it? Uh, 15. And what does it say above it? It says cold. <laughs> So, it's, it's, so we should be turning up the heating here, yeah, which we haven't right. fully got working yet. Um, but I think that's quite good because it gives you an indication of, if you, if you can, to turn up your heating. It just gives you the heating that it's the latest. Yes, that's it? right, so yeah. it's, not, it's cold but not really cold. So no, that's, no. that's a good one. I've got one of those at home. It's on right. my coffee table. But I've never seen one before, so I think it's really nice. Yeah. I think it's a great idea, that one. Yeah. Okay, next yes. item, please. What's this? <laughs> Mugshot, it's called. It's oh, so how saucy chow mein noodles, tasty and guilt-free. I don't know what. Oh, it's, it's got less than one percent fat, I suppose. Yeah, yeah, that's, that, that's good as well because again, you can just put it in a, a cup and add hot water. Right? That's right. That's what we do with it. Yep. Yep. Okay, that's a good one. And the well, that, that's leafless, isn't there? Yes. So let, can I have a look at that? Yeah. So this, this tells you what it is. It's part of the Ballamore Community Association's Health and Wellbeing Zone. And um, so the idea is that um, they've also got adverts for their free community lunch on Wednesday 19th of December, yeah. which you can book a place for. Thank you. Yeah. So that's the information about them. Next one. Yeah. Now, some little bells. Have you got any idea what that's for? For putting on a key ring. Yeah, but why? Well, so as if anybody gets over them or... You don't know where they are, you can hear them going. Well, yeah, but it doesn't make much noise. It's not like an alarm or anything, is it? I mm-hmm. thought maybe you put it on your cat or something. Any, well, any you idea? Can do that, yeah. I, wonder, I wonder what it's for. I had a puzzle with that one. It's quite pleasant, and you can, as you say, you, it's got a little thing to put it on your... Yeah. Um... It, another thing it could be, it could be for your purse, for a woman's purse. Why would that, why would you have it there? Well, so she'd yeah. find out what it was if she'd lost it or something like that. Yeah, but you need somebody... Yeah, I can't understand what it's for, really, can you? <laughs> no, that's the mystery present, then. <laughs> OK, next, any more in it? No, that's is that it, it, that's the one. Oh, OK, so what, what do you think about it? Well, I think it's a good idea, basically. But I don't think there's enough there to cure the problem that we've got. It's not curing anybody's problem, is it? It shows the bag as well that was in. So all that... Was, was crammed into that bag, which you get a nice little free shopping bag as well, yeah. which is pretty good going. So, yeah, it's not perfect, and no, no. it's not going to solve somebody's problems of isolation, or, no. and, but there is, it's, it's um, one of the statistics that I heard the other day was that, this is from Age Concern, over a million older Britons report going more than a month without speaking to a friend, neighbour or relative. Oh yes, I can well believe that. One million, that's a yeah. lot, isn't it? Yeah. And the, so for some of the average number of people they see in a month is, you know, only three or two or three. Well, so if I didn't socialise with people like yourself, I wouldn't see anybody. I never see my neighbours from one Christmas to the next, really. 
Yeah, so it, and those are the people that live next door to me. Is that, is that one of the reasons that you came along to Manage Heads? Was the, well, it, it, it was, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'll be yeah. quite honest with you. Yeah, 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 yeah. So it, it, these things don't over, overcome loneliness and whatever, oh, but yeah, they, yeah. they do help you in terms of keeping warm, which is the other big threat. Yes. Loneliness and cold, I think, are two, well, yes. and the cold weather are two of the biggest problems facing older people, aren't they? Mm. So this, it doesn't tackle it, but it's giving a... It's giving a nudge, it's giving a bit of help, and um, I think everybody's a bit grateful for that, yeah. isn't it? I think when everybody grows older, though, they are all subject to loneliness. Yeah, yeah. It depends on their lifestyle. You yeah. know, if they lose a partner, then they're bound to confront it sooner or later. Yeah. Well, I would encourage anybody who's um, any older person, men, but also women as well, if they want to come along to the men in sheds, as, as Terry and I have done, and on Merseybank Parade in, in um, on the Merseybank Estate in Chilton, they'd be very, very welcome. And details are on our website and on leaflets. So thank you very much, Terry, for our little look at the uh, winter warmer kit that we had. Thank, thank you. you.